everyone. Welcome to Storytime in Sea Club. Yesterday's clue was, it's kind of small, but I think you can see. Right? What do you think? Is it an alligator or a crocodile? Let's find out. Because the name of the story is Duck and Cover. Okay. All right. Oh, it's funny. It kind of starts out here in the tree. Someone's hiding. Mm -hmm. Someone is knocking at the door. Knock, knock. Help, help, help. Who could that be? Asked Molly. Oh, help. If the zoo detective finds me, I am a goner. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why are they after you? Asked Molly. I had to get a snack. Okay, so if someone comes, I, I don't know what to do. Please, please, all the animals shout, please don't eat us. <gasps> oh, Graham was afraid too, but he remembered what it was like to be in trouble and alone. Now it was his turn to help someone else. Uh, hello, my name is Graham. And he was shaking. He was very, very scared. Uh, and who's at the door? It's the alligator. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello there, Graham. I am Harold the alligator. My mouth is big and my appetite is bigger, but I'm not dangerous, really. Please hide me. Oh, Harold pleaded. Please, 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 Molly. I believe him, Molly. Can't we rescue Harold like you rescued me, said Graham. Oh, reluctantly, Molly opened the door all the way. Come on out, wherever you are, Graham called. Everybody had hidden all of the other animals. It's safe, it's safe, he said. And Harold really needs our help. Everybody think, where can we hide? an alligator in the house. What do you think? Oh, how about in the bread box? Asked Joseph. No, I don't think so. It's too small, said Molly. Oh, could we disguise him as a lamp? Said Audrey. Uh, I don't think so, said Lila. I know, the basement. The basement, said Ben. No, 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 it's too dark down there, and I'm afraid of spiders, said Harold. Oh, there's somebody at the door. Knock, knock. <gasps> too late, said Molly. Hide, hide, Harold, hide. Oh, no, it's the zookeeper. <gasps> Ma'am, have you seen, have you seen an alligator around here? No, no alligators. I have lots of dogs and cats and birds. Give me a call if you see anything, said the zoo man, and keep your eyes open. He has lots of teeth, that alligator. Whew, what a close call, said Molly, closing the door. We have to think of something, definitely, said Graham. Everybody, think, think, think. Well, meanwhile, they all started to have a little something to eat. They had some tea and they had some scones and some cupcakes. Oh, everything is so tasty, said Harold. He was hungry. Well, after they had their, their tea and their snack, Harold went downstairs to sleep. Everybody was very quiet. The next morning, Graham made his usual breakfast of pancakes and special, special tuna dish for the cats. Everybody was finished eating, except for Harold. Uh, do you have anything to nibble on? And sure enough, they found some more cans of tuna. He was hungry, that poor alligator. Delicious, he said, delicious. Later that day, Graham came up with a brilliant idea. They knew exactly what they would do if the zoo man returned. Until then, all they had to do was keep Harold, hidden and well-fed. Knock, knock. We know he's there. Oh, there's the zoo man. People have reported that there is an alligator 
around in your backyard. Okay, Harold, no use hiding. Come on out. Oh, whoa. What? What? Yelled the zoo man. Everybody, all of the animals were dressed up like alligators. He couldn't tell which one was Harold. Oh, no. Oh. He said, I, I think, I think we've made a mistake. I think that this house is filled with alligators and they're all very happy. And I think I'm going to go back to the zoo and I'm going to leave you, Molly, with all your alligator friends. And sure enough, that's what he did. And guess what afterwards? Oh, Harold was so happy that he lived there with all those animals forever. And that's the end of the story of Harold the alligator and his friends Molly and Graham and Joseph and Ben and B. I think B was there too. They all were there and they all had such such a great time. Okay, talk about great times. It is the birthday of a very, very, very dear friend of ours, Justine. Yes, it's Justine's birthday. We want to wish you a happy birthday, Justine. But first we have to decide what kind of cake you're going to have. The vanilla voters are Joseph, Harris, Henry, James, Lily, Molly, Audrey, Lila, and Amelia, all for vanilla. Let's look at our chocolate people. B and Ben, Bevy, Alice, Graham, Riley, Martha, and Clara. Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, chocolate. Nine, nine for vanilla. Oh, I hope you like a vanilla cake, Justine, because that's what it's going to look like, a little bit more vanilla today. Okay, all right, you ready to sing? Okay, Oberon, you ready to? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Justine. Happy birthday to you. Lovely. Okay. May I have the clue? The clue. Oh, look what this is. What do you think? I think it looks, looks like a very tasty carrot. A carrot. Hmm, think about that for a clue. All right, thank you, Oberon. Thank you, Cameraman Dan. And remember, out there, we love you all so very, very much. Mm -hmm.